Hi Pisces, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thanks to everybody for all the support. I appreciate y'all a great deal. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in all areas of life. Mondays are a different style every week. You're just going to have to come back to see what that's all about. I'm not offering personal readings right now, but when I do, I will make an announcement on the channel with the details uh, for those of you who are interested, so you can access those. And if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. What advice do you have for Pisces? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Pisces need to know for the best and highest good of all involved with Pisces? Messages for Pisces, please. All right, we will start here with the tarot, then we'll have the angel answers. You have here the queen of swords, decisive decision time. Oh God, with the four of cups, <laughs> the star and the nine of pentacles. I like it. The page of pentacles, the 10 of cups, the knight of pentacles and the two of wands. Well, okay. So I do see a decision being made, but again, I feel like, especially with that knight of Knight of Pentacles and the, the Queen of Swords, you won't be pushed into something that's not for you, okay? As we know, what's meant for you will not miss you. And so I just don't see you settling. Now, those of you that are saying, yeah, I've been holding out for a long time. I hate my job. I don't want to, you know, I haven't been in a relationship in eight years because I just can't find somebody because you do have the single lady card here. I do feel like, though, with the Queen of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, that delivers, all right? And especially, of course, the Star and the Ten of Cups. So we have here Aquarius. We've got Earth, Water, Air, and Fire, all the elements. But I love this Queen of Swords, and I do feel like it's helpful in this situation, this energy, because, again, you you won't get yourself into a situ situation or allow yourself to be in a relationship or a job with somebody or something that is just simply not a match. You've learned what you've needed to here. You also, too, know your worth with this Queen of Swords energy. It's very no-nonsense energy. It's great communication. So those of you, too, if you're looking to move and you're looking at places, I feel like you may go into a kind of a Queen of Swords essence where you right away go, no, nope. if it's a realtor, you go, no, this isn't it. You know, or if it's a leasing place where you say, show me another apartment. Show What else do you have? That sort of thing. I mean, you don't have to say it in that tone, but you know what I mean, where you you really are pretty decisive and you're able to communicate that easily. So you're not walking away and go, here's what I should have said. She does never do that. The Queen of Swords will not allow you to say, here's what I should have said. Now, in terms of love, you may be attracting an air sign, especially Aquarius. If Aquarius is on the docket, they're in the reading. And I definitely feel like in terms of new relationships, again, you've learned the lessons. We're not here to repeat the same old lessons. And the lessons really are here to grow us anyway. And so sometimes we may walk away and say, man, that one got me good. You know, you go, okay, that got me good. I'm not redoing that one. I know a lie when I see one. I know a walking lie in a pair of pants when I see it, and I'm not going in twice. So I do feel like in a relationship, you have somebody great coming in, by the way, especially with the page and that Knight of Pentacles. I like that a lot. So I mentioned before, this Four of Cups may serve you in a way. Fours are about discipline, okay? So this is like, in terms of picking what you want, being selective, I would never tell you to lower your standards. Telling somebody, well, you're too picky. I mean, what good does that do anyone? You've got 8 billion people to choose from. I think you can be selective. Now, for somebody here too, if you have had a hard time and you think you are too too much that way, I do feel like the Queen of Swords will, will help out a lot. If you say, no, I've missed out on what I think could have worked because I just couldn't make up my mind or I just didn't, you know, I didn't want to take that leap of faith. I do feel like with this, this is coming to a close either way. Whether it's better matches showing up or, again, having that clarity of mind coming in is going to be perfect. But this truly is a, is a card about 
getting your life in order. So for some too, in terms of a relationship, I do feel like you bring in somebody very dynamic, very caring, very loving. I keep seeing like furry animal friends. It looks like a, um, oh, what do you call those? A, uh, like not animal control, like, like a humane society or something. Um, like they're the kind of person they wouldn't, they wouldn't go, no, no offense against people who love pet stores and that sort of thing. They wouldn't get their animal from there. It's like they've only had rescues. They'd only get a rescue, that sort of thing. So speaking of rescuing, you know, we always say that nobody's going to come and rescue you from your own life, but except for maybe the Knight of Pentacles. That might be the one that comes into rescue, um, but it is help is on the way. But either way with this, you are bringing in a beautiful new cycle that absolutely delivers. All right, we've got a rainbow and those that starry skyline, the starry night of the star. It's hope, it's wish fulfillment, it's possibilities. What the what the star really does is introduce more possibilities. And it is a card too, especially if it is a job that you're asking about that's saying that you're, what you've asked for is on the way. You've got that big time here. This is the kind of cycle that will deliver. So those of you that have been looking and haven't find it, found anything, if you haven't found it yet, I feel like you're right on the precipice. Keep looking. I would say keep, have no stone left unturned. If it's something to do with work or a job or even housing, I get that too. Um, that it's like that continued persistence actually will pay off here. So with the star energy too, again, this is a connection, a deep, deep connection to source energy through source energy. If it's a relationship, it's two divine beings who come together. It's the energy where you open your heart and you say, let me know you. Let me know you. That's what this is doing in a deep, deep level. And I also feel like too, for some of you, it's it's also about yourself, connecting with yourself in a deep level so that you're free. You don't feel the pressure of the outside world saying you must have a relationship. You must live here. You must do that. That's all of our societal norms. That's not really who we are. And so with this, I do feel like there's a freedom here. There's a freedom and a great happiness coming in whenever you see the star. The numbers seven, eight are important here, but I do keep hearing seven, eight, nine. Okay, so if you keep seeing number synchronicities, that may be just a little universal wink saying, look, you're on the right track. This is a card too, though, where you're gonna have a great influence over other people. So like I said in an interview, or if you're on that, that search, that real estate or property search, where you're gonna be able to negotiate easily because you know why? People like this energy and they like you. They want to work with you. They want to help you. So those of you that are moving, here's your small paradise. Here's your luxury move. With the nine of pentacles, you're going to be happy with this. Nines are great numbers in the tarot. Their attainment, their realization. This is goals accomplished. This is goals. Now, you do have three cards here that are, are of earth energy. And this can also be about the physical body. And so when I said goals, I started seeing somebody getting fit, getting toned, feeling good about their physical body. That's what this is. So those of you too, that are starting some kind of a new health routine or fitness program, it may be the last start that you have to do because you'll continue. This, like I said, is a successful time of achievement, of attainment. It's also a very social time for you too. So you may find that, especially with the star being here, you have a lot of invitations. People want to get together. They want to spend time with you. And maybe in just a friendly way, not necessarily going out as a romantic interest. But I do feel like with that Nine of Pentacles, you'll be enjoying that energy. So the page introduces new opportunities. You have it several times. This opportunities and possibilities come in. And so with this Page of Pentacles, though, I do see this as part of a relationship story. Somebody who really does hold you in high regard. This is a card where they adore you. And so with this Page of Pentacles energy, it is a commitment. It is a connection. And it's it's developing, but it's there. And so I feel like it's somebody, too, who is a little bit cautious. Like they don't want to screw things up with you. And so they may be, you know, they may be trying to figure you out a little bit. And, and I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. I feel like they're trying to do things to, to understand you on a, on, a, on a level where a relationship could build and flourish. Now, those of you, too, that there is something with money, here's your offer right here where they say, hey, let, what about this? And this is that new offer that comes in. With the Ten of Cups, this can be very subjective. So, again, this can be cars. I don't really get the feeling of a car in this reading, but I definitely get something with housing coming in. So here's the one. Here's where you say, God, I'm so glad I didn't settle. 
I'm glad I didn't take that four of cups off or I knew there was more. And so with this 10 of cups too, a happy family card, if you are looking for a bigger house or a bigger place to live because you've outgrown it and you've been struggling with this insane housing market, I do feel like your wishes and dreams are coming in for whoever that's for. Now with this 10 of cups energy in terms of a relationship, it's very harmonious. So like I said, if it's a developing energy, it's something that is going to evolve. It is going to become greater. There's definitely love here, but there's joy, there's camaraderie, there's friendship. There's I get the sense of adventure too, like going out and doing new things. But the, the Knight of Pentacles comes in to say, let's make this one last, okay? Let's move a little slower. Like I said, I got that with the page too. Like they're trying to figure some things out with you because they want it to last. And so the yellow in the background, you have that three different times that's bringing in gifts and blessings. It's harm, harmony, harmony. Wherever you're going, it's getting along with people really well and just meeting good, stable people. So if you felt like you were on the crazy train for a while, like you just kept it attracting insane people into your life, you're not going to with this next cycle. So the Two of Wands brings in partnerships that expand and grow, that card of the visionary, but you do have the flowers of the Garden of the Magician down here telling you that you're manifesting, telling you to take that leap of faith. So look ahead. These both do that too, by the way. They get their sights set on what they want and then they go for it. So especially too, if you feel like you've been waiting around, it's time to get yourself out there. If it's a job, I'd say I'd keep looking. I wouldn't give up because there's a, there is, again, there's a turn of events here that bring in more. So let's see, Pisces, what the angels want to tell you. What else does Pisces need to know? Messages for Pisces, please. All right. You have be assertive. So again, that two of wands energy tells you get yourself out there. Meditation brings answers. And we talked a little bit about that with the star. And you've got if you believe, and that's a lot of it is what do we believe? Because we get what we believe. You're ready, they say. And we've got a yes. Good things are on the way for you, Pisces. I love you. And I'll be back again soon.